Hello everyone. Welcome to Morgan MS College Online Classroom. I am Mohammad Khurshid Alam, Head Department of English. Today I am going to discuss the love song of Jay Alfred Fugu by T.S. Eliot. This is a, one of the modern poems written by T.S. Eliot, and it also the start the beginning of the modern era. T.S. Eliot was one of the 20th century's most noted poets, and he was born in Missouri. USA and moved to England at the age of 25. And he was one of the pioneers of the modern movement in the literature. The love song of J. Alfred Flew Books is a key document of the literary modernism. And it was first published in Poetry Magazine in June 1915, and later collected in a Elias first book. Fufok and other title of the poem indicates a romantic love situation, and it is used ironically by the poem. Eliot does not sing any romantic love song in this poem, rather his motion is quite anti-romantic. The ridiculous name Fufok is not entirely whimsical. It is said to have been derived from the name of a furniture dealer in St. Louis, Fufok, would like to speak to the love of a woman, love to a woman, but he does not dare, and it records Fufok's recoil from love rather than his engagement in love. The opening of the poem reveals the irony of the title. There Fufok says, let us go then you and I, and when the evening is spread out again the sky, like a patient it rises up on a table. Many of T.S. Eliot's works contain historical literary reference, and in this poem, there is, it is come with an epigraph from the Dante's Inferno. Dante wrote his first paragraph in Italian, thereby I presented it with English translations. If, but if I but thought that my response I had made to one perhaps returning to the world, his tongue of flame, this tongue of flame would cease to flicker. But since up from this depth, no one has yet returned alive. If that I hear is true, I answer with the fear of being ashamed. Dante writes about being trapped and a concern with self-image and reputation, which T.S. Eliot channels as the theme of his own poem. Now, if you recite the poem aloud, you will feel the, uh, the, the, uh, the fragmentations and their failures and their kind of frustrations in the mind of the writer. And I would like to recite the first 14 lines of the poem. So you, will, uh, you can have a fair idea how these things goes on. Let us go then, you and I, when the evening is spread out against the sky. Like a patient, it arrives upon a table and let us go to a certain half deserted city. Let us go through certain half deserted steed, the muttering retreats of restless nights in one night cheap hotels and sawdust restaurant with oyster cells. A steed that flow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming questions. Oh, do not ask what is he. Let us go and make our visit. In the room, the women come and go talking of Michael and Julio. So the, these are the lines that, and if we see the lines, we feel that there is a fragmentation, there is a loss, a sense of loss in this uh, very end. We are just, these are the, the samples. If you read uh, those uh, lines very seriously, then you will find that how it sounds. So let us go to the next slide and we will see how things are. The analysis of the poem is very hard because it is not written in a general form or it is not written in a uh, simple story. So I have given here uh, some of the important uh, item which is there. For example, it reflects the tortured side and uh, for folk is a modern man and he is over educated, eloquent, neurotic and emotionally stilt. So uh, the poem speakers is addressing a potential lover with whom he would like to be in relationship. The love song of Alfredo is the inner monologue of the city gentleman and who is stricken by the feeling of isolation and inadequacy and incapability of taking decisive actions. 
if we analyze the poem in a other ways, we have we have, we will we will find that the the poet emphasized the themes of alienation, isolation, and diminishing power of traditional source of authority. The poem is a dramatic monologue in which the speaker narrates the anxieties and preoccupations of his inner life. Who focuses a modern day urban speaker who talks frankly about his failures, chiefly his failure to grasp the nettle, his lack of sexual fulfillment, and his overall sense of failure. We cannot always be sure that uh, what he is uh, confiding to us, we may instead have a direct line in his talk or to the inside of his head. And Trufok is a middle aged, perhaps round, 40 socially awkward living in a world that he considers stifling and unsatisfying. His own place in this world is not clear enough. So let us go to the next slide and we will uh, see that how the, this follows. So the first one is the isolation. The song, just, if you read the poem of that, we find that Trofuk is an isolated man and he cannot, uh, he cannot make any fruitful re uh, relations with any women particularly and he cannot do anything else he has isolated himself in the cocoon of him and indecision is the one of the modern trend in every modern poem of fictions that people who are uh, uh, modern men they are so infected with problems with uh, uh, with uh, with a different kind of a different kind of situations that they cannot cope with so they suffer from it and inactions come from the indecision and because of inaction they are frustration so this is one of the most important factors that we come along with the the, the in the tsds the love song of jl Flood. and the next is the structure and the form of the poem if we consider the structure and the form of the poem ts Eliot is the uh, advent followers of uh, a very a very uh, dedicated follower of Baudelaire. Baudelaire was the symbolic poet, French poet, who, who proposed, who propagated the, propagated the pioneer, the free bars, called Bars Lilac. So these are the important things. If we see the poem, we, saw, we see that there is no fixed uh, 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 pattern. Though some lines are very rhyme pentameter, there is rhyme scale, there is couplet, and all these things are there. But it is not actually a structure in the form. But the structure of the poem lies in the uh, in the in the sequence of uh, say ideas that is undergoing in the mind of uh, Frufok. So this is one of the important uh, important fact in the. Uh, in the uh, in the love song of J. Alfred Frufo. Now let us say uh, uh, for the time being, there the T.S. Eliot use different kind of literary devices. One of them are such as imagery, references, allusion, fragmentation, and these are the important facts in the because Eliot wrote in in the in and in a complicated psychological environment. He has expressed his views using imagery, reference, and illusion of different kinds significantly in the poem. The love song of Al Fruk, we find many suitable imageries, references, and illusion that have given the poem a high esteem in transcending its limitation as only a love poem to a representation of a perfect modern man, every person of nowadays. The imagery is reference are mainly of two kinds, traditional and personal. Imagery is said to make poetry concrete as opposed to abstract. There are three significant uses of imagery. It is used to signify all the objects and qualities of sense perception. Secondly, it is used to signify only the description of visible objects and senses. And thirdly, imagery in current uses signifies the figurative language, especially metaphors and similes. Imagery, reference, and allusion go hand in hand in the love songs of Alfred Frufo. Another important thing of all this is the fragmentation. And, and fragmentation is, a, uh, is an important phenomenon of this poem because the 20th century literary world has introduced a number of uh, uh, influential concepts. Fragmentation is one of them. It, this uh, it is, it, it, 
has illustrated these perceptions in the condition of a mode, in the condition of modern man. In the love song of Jalfer Tok, Elias sets his speaker to journey or a meaning and answer, reveals his fragmented vision and analyzes the man, modern man's perceptions of life, norm, and faith. Life, norm, and faith. Another important thing, which is very much modern in the life of the end is the techniques that T.S. Eliot used. It is called the technique of esteem of consciousness. Esteem of consciousness is one of the dominant characteristics of modern literature. Uh, esteem of consciousness is the description of a character, thoughts, feelings, and reaction in a continuous dot light flow. Esteem of consciousness was first used consistently during the modernist era in the modernist literature after writers began to stay away from set beginning, middle, and end structure pieces. It allowed the author to write in a more individualistic and opinionated first person tone. In the love song of J. Alfred Prufel, rare individualistic, rare punctuation, inconsistent line, extend the length, and visual descriptions create informal structure and personal imagery characteristics frequently correlated with the esteem of consciousness. So if we just analyze line, uh, just uh, see the line 29 to 31, if you in your poem, you will see this is the, uh, uh, say an example of uh, esteem of consciousness in the and time for all the works and days of hands that lift that and drop a question on your plate. A time for you and time for me. And these are the fragmented uh, ideas which has been, uh, which is in a continuous flow. And uh, T.S. Eliot stitched them together. At the end of the poem, I would like to say that you would just study line by line and see how a journey from the beginning to the end is stitched to the uh, to the idea to the ideas. He, he just stitched uh, uh, ideas, a ring of ideas, and all these ideas from the journey begins. The Alfred Prufox journey begins from the English road to into. Uh, it, it, it is stressed into his mind and which at least concluded that under the sea. So this is the a descending order in a descending order. As we see, we remember the, uh, if we remember the epigraph, there is a journey of Dante from the, in the inferno, in the hell. And here is the journey of Alfred the Profoc, a modern man, a journey to the hell of the situational uh, sequences. So this is the modern techniques that call the esteem of consciousness, which is very much dominant in our. So therefore, we, we say that Alfred Profoc is the more presentations of the modern man by, uh, by T.S. Eliot, and which kick start the modern movement in the literature of the 20th century. Thank you for the for time being. See you in the next class.